Welcome back guys to another video. I'm quite excited about this one. I've managed to get my hands on one. Um, everywhere I was looking, it was out of stock. Um, but you know what it is, because you've obviously clicked on it because you've seen the title. But let's take a look. And of course it is... Ba -ba -ba -ba. The Tempest 100T Social Cap. Yeah, everywhere I've looked, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Uh, this was a penny short of 100 quid. This was from Tackle Tarts. Tackle Tarts, I think, is almost like a, a bro not a broker, but they sort of find the cheapest one for you. Anyway, I can't remember where it actually come from, but they only had two left in stock and another company had one left in stock, but that was more expensive. Um, but yeah, so... Where is it? There you go. It's especially designed, obviously, for my uh, 100T. Creates a porch area to the front of the shelter for additional storage. See, I absolutely love my bivvy, but sometimes it just gets like a little bit cramped. Uh, extremely quick and easy to assemble 100 size designed for one bed chairs with um, op optimum storage space to uh, sorry twin side openings encourages airflow and reduced condensation obviously you got your waterproof in that you got your poles it comes with dual um dual rod st str oh, Christ comes with comes with dual rod straps you get your bag obviously you get your tent pegs so specs approximately three kilos um there you go there's the dimension so transport size is 132 by 20 and then once it's actually up it's uh 152 height 320 wide and the depth is 110 um so where is it i've got a code here just in case you guys want to look for the code so the code is 202275 now the only concern i have with this try not like get shadow right if you look at this one it acts as like a skull wrap so that it comes up the top here goes round See, now, I've obviously got the skull wrap, which comes all the way down, you know, covers the whole bivvy. The only thing with this, obviously, this just acts as a skull, so I can't put the skull wrap on. This acts as a skull cap. So, yeah, I think you put these onto the poles so you can tighten it down. So put your bivvy out. But... So guys, the usual, it'll be like one second for you and then it will obviously, will be out, it'll be daylight and we'll be putting it all up. So as promised, for you guys, it's only been about, what, two seconds, if that. Here's a new day and we are out on the lake. Just look at that view. The sun is shining. What more could you ask for, really? What more could you ask for? Anyway, as promised, going to set up um, the new social camp there's a few things we need to do to the bivvy first so let's look into that right guys here's the social camp first time opening so obviously I don't really know what's in here so to speak I don't keep these, but I'll put them in the bag, obviously, just so that they don't blow away. <clears throat> so we got, they obviously must be the retaining poles for it. Tent pegs. Right, these are the bits we need to put onto the bivvy 
before we can actually attach this. So, roll that back up for a minute. Move with all this out the way and we'll get the bivy in. So what I do know, these is what's going to re hold the social cap on the skull cap slash social cap. It needs to thread through these to tighten it to the bivy. So we've got four of them. We've got some, uh, just like spare tightening screws. Oh, we've got three of these. Why well, have we got three? You'd think you'd have four, wouldn't you? These must be spare though, those ones. I'll put those in my pocket. So, right, we've got five. So I think, have we got five? Yeah, so I'm gonna put one on the outer edges. So one on this one, one on this one, and one in the middle. So obviously like these two here that I'm touching won't have anything on. But it does say, um, do not attempt to try and put these clips on when the bivy is erect. So, right, it doesn't actually say, I mean, I've got three, it doesn't say which ones to put them on to, but like I say, I'm gonna do the outer edges and then the one in the middle. So what you need to do, pull it apart a little bit so you've got the elastic showing, slide, the elastic through the center gap. Then just slightly slide it up. Now they're saying it should be about 10 mil from the bottom of this bit, but God knows what that is, but about measuring it. Then we got little clips to put over it once it's all tightened. So let's go and tighten these ones down first. So we've got the hex side up. That's what the nut will go into. It's quite a large gap at the moment, isn't it? So hopefully it all tightens up all right. So obviously you're gonna make sure that the strap bit is on the outside. Oh, let's try and get that actually in shot. I was just trying to lift it up so I could actually see. So what I've done, turned it over, just watch the nut because it did fall out. Hopefully you can all see that all right, it's obviously quite difficult. When you're trying to do it sort of cack handed. Right, I would line it up with like the fabric here. I mean, we can always adjust it accordingly later. 
is one. There we go, right, that gap's closed up really nicely now. I don't want to tighten it sort of too much and obviously start threading it or anything. That's obviously the, the sort of the screw side. So that is the side with the knot. I'm not going to put them on just yet, but obviously got the little black bits to um, put over the ends to make it tidy and that. So, right, let's do the rest. So, right, one, two, next one. They're going to pull it apart a little bit. Slide the elastic through the gap. You just need to spread the block a little bit. There we go, so that's on. And then we're going to put that in place. Again, you just have to ease the block open a little bit. Right, about, it says about 10 mil. I mean, I'll just try and roughly get it the same. I mean, once the bivvy's actually up, you can probably adjust them slightly then. I mean, I don't think they need to be dead perfect. Right. And what you need to do is you will need to squeeze the block together a little bit to get the screw to bite into the um, nut. There we go. You see it's, it's caught that, so that's good. Yeah, when it says don't try and do it um, when the bivvy is erect, I think it's because you'll be trying to pull the poles apart when they're all situated in place. I think that's why but I'm sure you can obviously adjust them I don't think you want to tighten it too much because tighten it too much the the bolt is going to start protruding the recess and then when you try to put the black thing on it's not going to go right that's another one done that's right like let's get the bivvy up right the bivvy is up so I do need to just Need to turn that one that way a little bit. That one hasn't got one. That one needs just turning a little bit. Hasn't got one. I think that is the actually only one that's actually probably right. <laughs> right, uh, got the Allen key in my pocket. So let's, let's just go and adjust those now. All right, there we go, all tightened up. All lined up. There we go, all tightened up and lined up now, so it looks a little bit better. Again, I don't think it actually has to be that precise. Um, but, there we go, they're all lined up. Right, I will pin the bivvy down, just to sort of give it a bit more of a true structure. So let me quickly do that. Right. As per instructions, we have done all those um, parts. Right, the next bit is, yeah, we've assembled and everything else. Oh, is this the actual, oh, the, okay, right. This isn't the bivvy part, this is the social cat part. Right, remove it from the bag, unfold, and plug the anti-twist poles together. Once the poles are assembled, hold on, let me try and move my fingers out of the way so you can see. Uh, use a tension strap to tension the poles. Um, I don't want two. Oh, okay, so it's, for some reason it sort of goes one, two, three, four. So uh, now take the Velcro straps and pass them through the entire fabric section of the overwrap. Right, I think we sort of have an idea now, so let's see how it works. 
Come roll it. We're gonna assemble these. Those two. And then you've got to open it out and do the end here. I don't know if you can see that. This bit, so we've got to put this bit together now. So, so we've got the section there you got to put together. Same the other side. And then you've got the bit at the top that needs to go together as well. So, Right, I have made a mistake here, look. I've put it up, but it's actually inside out. So we need to have that bit facing outwards. So I thought it looked a bit odd. So yeah, we'll undo these, flip it over, and uh, we'll go again. I just spent about, initially, five, five, ten minutes looking for the bloody strap. Because when I got the bivvy, the strap was already on it. You got your peg bag. Have a look in there. Because that's where the bloody thing is. Underneath. That's where it's strapping into. And then obviously the same. This side. So, now that's done. We start to... We'll pick that bit up now, and then we'll strap the back onto those clips. So we do have a problem and I wish it would tell you this in the manual. Oh for Christ's sake, it's all falling bloody down now. Oh, anyway, these, don't put them on these ones and then the middle one at the back like I've done. This one needs to go on this one and then you've got that one and then you've got that one it needs to go on. So I've got to take off this one. So easiest way to put it, not the, not the front corners, but the three at the back. So I've got one. So, God, didn't say that in the manual. So anyway, this is what I enjoy about doing these videos for you guys. My mistakes, my learning curves, help you guys to do it right the first time. So I'll be back in a second. Just realised, then I, I'm going to have to unpeg it all because obviously I can't get them off while the bivvy's up. Yay! Right, I'll be back in about five minutes then. Right. I am learning from my mistakes because I haven't tightened it all the way up yet. I wanted to make sure it lined up correctly, so there we go. I am actually learning. I'm not going to bother showing you the other side because again it's just going to be a straighten up. Right, where was we? I'll put the cover back over and we'll show you. So I personally think the best way to do this is probably do the middle one first. So you're going to slide the strap through the little gap. 
Right, I'm not going to tighten it too much because what I'll do is we will um, come back and tighten it in a minute. All right, okay, actually it goes right up to here, not here, idiot. So I'll do it like that for a minute. We'll tighten it in a second. Right, right inside. Pop it through. Again, I'm not going to go too tight because I want to get them all in position first. Final one. Again, not done it tight, tight. So that's how we're looking at the moment. So they are strapped down. So next part we've got to do is return to the front of the social cap and place a peg in the pegging points either side of the large opening. It is essential that the cap is positioned correctly. Uh, the seams of the skull section should run in line with the poles of the shelter. And the poles of the social cap should be parallel to the front of the shelter itself. Now you can fit the supplied tension and bars thing. And then number four is um, the remaining pegs can now be placed. Here are the poles. So we got Two long ones. Then we've got another little one in there. Which has got the little pin that goes in the front where you put your skull wrap on. And then they've both got tightening screws. Uh, this and that, and then slide it to tighten it. So let's have a look. So I would imagine this middle one goes in there. There we go, that slides in. So as you see, the other end, a bit hard to see if I can show you this, but clips onto the bar and then obviously you'd tighten it. All right, there we go, that's tightened. We have structure. You've got another two poles, which So, clips it onto the actual bivy pole. There. Like I said, I put that face down. I don't want it up here rubbing. And then that one goes onto there. And then we'll do the same the other side. When you put the bivy side up, The bivy side has the funny angle. You see that? It looks a bit bent. So that bit's gonna go on the bivy. I would try and clip it where this seam is because it's almost like just to help stop it from rubbing. So that's the bent bit. You got the tightening bit. All I do wish is that wasn't pushing against there, I don't like it. 
I might see if I can put just put something around it just to stop any friction. And then you've got this side, so all you've got to do tighten, tighten it up. There we go. Looks better. So yeah, this side was wrong. So, I do think it's a bit weird having the nut in the middle of the door. So, see that's the bent end. We need to swap that around. So that goes over there. This bit goes this way. There we go, and then the usual. Tighten her up. There we are. So now I would go round and just make sure these are tight now. Bring them all down. Thing is by not doing them tight to begin with just gives you that little bit extra play. So that's that done. Right, this needs to come round here. We're gonna pop one peg in there, that one, one in that one. So let's do that. I want to peg it out properly and we'll have a proper look. So give me two seconds. So she's up. It's taken me about an hour, I think. Um, but then again, we've had to put the clips on and then I've done the clips wrong and then I had to unpeg it all and oh, collapse it all down. Anyway, we are there hopefully next time. It shouldn't actually take me too long because everything's, now I know what, where everything goes and you know all the sort of the clips and everything all done so i ain't got to do that again hopefully um so let's have a look so here we are i mean i'm not gonna put the ground sheet down but i mean it's not bad size obviously i've got the the wood in the way so i think i could stretch it out a smidge more um so these i believe are up to do that you do that you do that you do that <laughs> then that holds it back so that opens it up so that's not too bad is it you've got a couple so you've got one Two on either side so if you want to strap it back but yeah i mean it's a nice bit of extra space to be fair i mean it's not massive massive i mean yes you could get a bed in there because you wouldn't you wouldn't pin this down you'd probably pull that up and have that tucked back um yes from what i'm aware of they don't do a ground sheet for this the social cap um i suppose in some respects it would be nice if they did but it's not essential really that's where you're sleeping in it but yeah that adds a bit of a hell of a bit of space i mean it might look a bit more than for you guys because you are on um wide view but if i take you off hold on let's walk back not fall in the drink so there we go i mean um what have I got to measure it? Hold on. You're looking at the length of the bag. Extra space. So that's all right, because what I'm worried about when it's absolutely hammering it down with rain or whatever, um, you know, I've got my, bag, um, got my buckets and not my bait boat. I don't want it all sat outside. I do actually put the bait boat in the bivvy with me, but it just takes up space. So I could put something there, you know, so get you back on wide so you can actually see right let's have a look at this door so if it's raining and you just want to let a bit of air in or if it's sunny you want a little bit of air in oh i'm being an idiot then am i what a change being an idiot for Christ's sake those bits of elastic oh god I come around this way, you wally. 
There we go. Look, so that it keeps the door open. Might as well call me Sherlock Gnomes. Right, I'm not going to do the bottom one. I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. But that looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, the bed will be in there. Some gear. I'll have my chair out here. Be sat here. Watching the drink. Seeing what's happening. You can obviously got use that side. And obviously, I'll show you anyway. But, got this side as well. There's me thinking it held this bit back. What an idiot. <laughs> anyway. So that really airs it out. So, again, could be absolutely hammering it down. Want a bit of a fresh air coming in or air the bivvy out, so to speak. Or, say your mate's in that swim there somewhere. You can have this one shut or vice versa. That one's shut. Watch your Rodneys. All right, mate. Yeah, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah to your mate over there. Yeah. I love that. I think it's brilliant. I really do like that. Feel myself packing it away, but I'll put that in another video because I don't want to take too much of your time because this is probably going to be an almost an hour video as it is. Also, I want to see whether my skull wrap is all right with these clips and they're not going to get in the way because obviously the skull wrap comes over and down to the bottom doesn't it but again that'll be another video i don't want to take up too much of your time in one video hey guys the social cap i'll put a link in the description where i got it from like i say i'll put a link in the description of where i got it from i love it i really do it gives me that extra bit of space but like i was saying at the beginning of the video I think it was. I don't want to be upgrading to the, the next size up. Not for the money. It's not worth it. But for 100 quid. For the extra bit of space. And sort of. Takes up sort of no space. Or room at all. Bargain. Absolute bargain. Um, so yeah. And actually. Hold on. I'll just swap you back around again for a minute. It actually doesn't take up as much of the swim as I thought it was going to. I mean, in theory, the bivvy could come back another six inches, if not a bit more. Um, yeah, so actually it doesn't take up much space. So got me rods down here. They come to somewhere about here, I reckon. That distance where the rods would be. Still plenty of room for someone to actually get by with their barrow. So yeah, I mean, I can't say it would fit in every swim on my lake, or club lake, sorry. But yeah, I think they've done well with that. I mean, you've got your odd straps. Um, don't think there's anything else I need to um, report in. The only shoddy, well, I wouldn't say shoddy, can't say that. The only thing is, obviously, if it's peeing down with rain, obviously, normally I'll have my skull wrap on, which obviously covers all of it. I mean, obviously, this doesn't. It's just a cap. So, obviously, yeah, the rain will just roll off it and down, but you're sort of not insulating this sort of bit. But I suppose, do you want the extra space or do you want the warmth? But, like I say, I won't use this all the time. I think what I plan to do is, if I'm doing... Well, I suppose, again, it depends on the weather. If it's peeing down rain, I might do so that I can keep all my gear dry. I could actually bring the wheelbarrow in here and park it up in the corner, keep that out the rain. So that's a bonus, actually. Um, but yeah, this probably might be more for a 48 hour session just to give you that bit of extra space. But So one of the things with this is, you're probably thinking, where's the door? Right, well then, what you do is you use your door that you'd use for the bivvy on the front of this one 
Um, so what you could really do if you wanted to, you could actually get two doors, one on the bivvy and then one on the shelter or the social cap, sorry. So it's almost like you're keeping the warmth in the bivvy so it's not coming out here, but obviously you're sort of shutting this off so it's not getting all wet and or open up to the elements. So let me put the door in and I'll show you. Not gonna pin it all down. The only thing, actually, with this, you can't use your storm poles. Cause, well, you can put them in there, but you ain't got nothing to attach it to, which is a bit of a shame, but I suppose if you know it's gonna be absolutely howling. <laughs> Yeah, if you know it's absolutely going to be howling, I suppose you're not going to have this on because it's going to catch the wind, isn't it? So. There we go. So, I'm all sealed in. Again, you can have the letterbox opening. I love it. I just can't tell you how much I love this. I don't know why I get so excited. But yeah, so don't think there's really think anything else to say, I suppose. That's it. So yeah, loving this. There we go, guys. I hope you find it useful. I did make a few mistakes. Hopefully you won't make the same as me. Um, so hopefully this video just gives you a bit of insight of the mistakes I made and just to set up the overall um, look around it. I love it. I really do. I've had it up for, what, 10, 10 minutes or something? I love it. I'll definitely be using it more than what I say I will. I just know it. But give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, please, if you haven't done already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.